For some time, applications to identify songs via mobile devices have become very popular. We will explain what are the characteristics of some of the most used free applications for music recognition. Often not the first, Shazam has become one of those wardrobe bag applications for any tablet or smartphone. It let us know within seconds what is the name of a song captured through the microphone, providing further information about the artist, albums on which it was published, etc. If we don't have any queries, we can also browse the list of the last artists or groups. Getting information about discographies and songs available, downloads through iTunes, lyrics, biographies and related artists that allows us to expand our musical horizons. Through text stream, you can hear the songs that have been recognized recently by other users. To listen a complete song, we can use the YouTube links provided with the increase of bandwidth it takes. Shazam also lets you make lists of personal tasters that can be shared with your contacts from Facebook and Twitter. Last FM was once one of the leading social networks related with music until the advent of Spotify. Its application on air seems to have ceased to interest them. It doesn't work and it's not likely to do so again. We cannot listen any music and we can't do anything with it. Disappointing. Soundhound has burst in the market recently and looks it is invading Shazam's domain. Virtually shows the same artist information, their discographies, etc. But the interface is more chaotic and less intuitive. In addition, we have some ads. To its credit, Soundhound has better speed in music recognition and also allows identifying the songs if we hum it. If we want to listen a complete song, we can do it through a Spotify link, but we'll need a premium account to do so. Jazam and Soundhound are two good applications and both do a great job. If given the choice, we wish we could also play whole songs. But that may be too much asking for a free application.